Well, good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? Uh, it is the first program. It's the first um, Real Talk with Evan Will program for 2020. Congratulations, you made it to 2020. Happy New Year. Actually, the second. We did a, um, a count. Year's. New Year's. <laughs> please don't. Please don't pay to me today. Please, none of y'all pay to me today. <laughs> Happy New Year's. Well, New Year's, if you're thinking about the entire decade, possibly. Uh, we appreciate that. Um, actually, our first show was actually on the first. We did a countdown program that that, on midnight. that you can yeah. find actually on Facebook and on on YouTube. So uh, we are um, here to um, to help you get through the new year and the new decade with a little planning. Not too much planning because I'm not much, too much planning. Me. I'm the planner queen. She's um, got 400 planners that came in the mail the other day. <laughs> I'm this exa- is my lovely planner. I'm exaggerating, but and my stickers not by much. and got all sticker- of that. I'm a planner. Okay. I know I'm, I'm never late for my appointments, and I always know when they are. I just blow them off. <laughs> I know when they are. It's like, oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. I know. But but you know what? Planning and ha- you know what and setting goals are are, are, are super important and re- really valuable in, to, in in increasing the quality of anything you do, whether it's a, a relationship or a business or whatever. Um, going through life like a goldfish, just sort of bumping into the side of the um, dory. You know, yeah, living like dory. Although Dory is lovely and wonderful and we love her, it's not the way that we want to live our lives. Um, so we want to have a, a little roadmap um, and get things moving forward if we can. And um, we need to do that for ourselves as individuals. And don't forget to do that as a couple. A couple. Because those goals are super important. A lot of times people, I think people grow up, grow apart, whatever that means, is because they haven't taken they their lives... Okay. And made sure that they were going to go forward, that they, that they weren't going to grow apart. Everybody sort of had separate ideas about what they were, what they were doing, and that caused them to be on, on different paths. So um, at least have a general plan of the, of the things that you like to get accomplished, not just as individuals, but as, uh, as a couple. And that's what we're going to talk about for a little bit this morning. We're not going to hold you for six hours. We're not going to, we don't do that. Some people will well, watch we don't do, do that. the live shows on YouTube that hey, ever. are are cooking videos that go on that, for seven hours. <laughs> seven hours. Like, I, I like Reese's. Oh, we love Reese's, but six hours. I could we could drive up there when she starts and be there before at her front door ends. before she finishes. Hey. We were watching you, and <laughs> we thought we'd drive up from Tampa. What's up? T. Briggs, what's up, baby? Happy New Year. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good to see Hello. you. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, it's early where T. Briggs is. He's in, he's in California, so, uh, yeah, it's, what up? Dude, it's 6 in the morning. Why aren't you in bed? I know, because you're a working man, I know. Black man in California better work. <laughs> That way you can leave. Yeah, t when you leave in California, you can't stay there. You got to go. <laughs> All right. Um, getting ready for work. Yeah, you know. Uh, anyway, we're gonna get, we're gonna get started. Um, um, Deborah has notes because she has planner and and our planners. Um, there are numerous places for notes. And writing down these goals is a biblical thing because the word does say. Um, write it down, make a plan, and write the vision down, down and make a plan. Make a plan. And, and, you know, and, and and the idea is that that way it doesn't change in your memory, and you actually can focus on something that you actually have thought about. So, it, it, you know what? All, although it's good word, it's really a good plan. Um, so Debbie's going to start because she has notes. I see them. <laughs> well, the and there's not a lot of notes. And I really, I kind of cheated. I didn't really work on this long enough because I always do it on Sunday evenings. And this Sunday, I had to revamp and redo meal prep 
because we ha I hadn't been doing a full meal prep um, during the holiday season. So, so I was a little tired, but I did manage to uh, review and do some things, um, goals for couples for 2020. And these are not necessarily our particular goals, but they are <laughs> they are goals that we uh, we recommend for you because a lot of this we already do. So um, we really who we really need to sit down and come up with our own personal goals and share that with you all because. We, as a couple, we do that at the beginning of the year and talk about what we want to accomplish. Some of the things, some things uh, we did talk about uh, mm -hmm. a business adventure that I'm interested in. And um, because m one goal as a couple for us, we are going to be looking for other streams of income. That's super important. Um, <clears throat> some of y'all have a job and some of y'all have a great job. Um, but at some point, you won't have that job because you will have aged out of it. Um, the market would have changed. Automation will have replaced you because don't don't think that automation can't replace you. Uh, automation will replace you. It, that's just how it is. Um, that's how it's always been done. Hey, Mel. Um, so the idea <coughs> is that that <clears throat> it always makes sense to have multiple streams of income um, in case something happens to one. Um, for instance. Uh, there's a, there was a fire down in downtown Tampa at a um, at a Chinese restaurant, uh, and I'm sure there are people who work in that restaurant, and that was their only job. That's guess their source of income. Guess what happened this morning? They will not be going to work. They will not be going to work this week or probably this month. Um, that rest be a few months before they get a job back. They they won't be going, and they may not ever be going back to that job. So what do you do in the meantime? And that's a little restaurant that doesn't have any, I'm sure they don't have any benefits. They don't, I, mean, I mean, they may be able to get unemployment for a while, but you, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They have no other streams of income in that restaurant. And I and, and prayerfully, everybody, no one was hurt. I don't think anyone was, was No one was, was hurt. Injured. It was injured. Sunday It was Sunday afternoon. Um, downtown Tampa is kind of quiet. On Sunday afternoon, nobody was hurt, so that's good. But you, you see what can happen. I'm sure things were going along wonderfully. And then last night happened. Um, so extra streams, streams of income, income are always, excuse me, <clears throat> a very good idea. Sometimes they may be part-time jobs. <clears throat> I got one. Um, yeah, uh, or they may be or a business adventure. Uh, or a business venture that that, that you can do. Hey, Pam, um, good morning. That you can get into, and that can create a little income for you. Um, just so if the main source gets shut down or curtailed for some reason, um, you're not um, in as bad a predicament as you might be otherwise. Okay. <clears throat> the first thing here, and, and, and I think that we might want to do this, is put limits on phone time when you're together. We? We! I know we. The, the, we? There are times when I'm sitting there and I want you to watch the movies with me and, and stuff. You are, and, and you are on your phone. And, and, and you are on your phone. And you're on your phone because you know how I know? Because I'm commenting on the movie. And then she takes the remote and has to rewind to see the thing I talked about. <laughs> I said we. But I, but I'm watching the movie. <laughs> but I'm actually watching the movie. Uh, but we put put phone limits um, because I, 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 yes, we are Facebook people. We are Instagram, Twitter, and all this stuff. And I think this year I want to put a time frame and 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 put it away at night. I feel like it's it's guiding it's it's interfering with you know re relationship time. Okay, I will if you will. 
So put phone limits. And and I, I heard this thing that you can put your phone on a no. certain way so that when you get on a certain page, it'll remind you that you've been on it for five minutes and you need to get off. Oh, well, you know what? I'm I'm not going to do that because I'm, I'm tired of things talking to me and buzzing and telling me what to do. I'm a grown-ass man. Thank you so much. I don't need my electronics telling me what to do. It's just an idea. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, designate <clears throat> time each day to connect with your partner. Which is a good, good, good idea because, like, the sit down at the family table and all that stuff has kind of gone away from from couples. And um, I remember growing up, you know, we would sit down at the at the dining room table, and that's when you talked about what your day was like and what you know what things happened and different things. I get some interesting stories from my dad, and. Now I have the interesting stories, and 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 we do that. We we usually generally sit and talk, talk. We talk about that at some point. Yes. <clears throat> well, mine aren't as interesting as they used to be, but uh, <laughs> but old, old people do get another at the ATM. <laughs> that was an awesome day. But but it's it's a good idea because that's an, a, like Willie said. That's another reason why people grow apart. Because you don't know, you know, what your partner did at work today. Because you're you're in bed, or you're maybe doing you're on the internet, or doing something when they get home, or you know, and you never sit down and have a meal or whatever. One eats, you eat at the counter in the kitchen, and the other one, oh, well, I had something on the way home or whatever like that. We're so busy that we don't take time to to stay connected. Yeah, and it's just, you know what, and, and scheduling, and I understand, I, you know, I you know I feel you. Scheduling can be tough. Mm -hmm. um, we are <clears throat> we are stretched to the, a lot of us are stretched to the nth, and, um, and, and scheduling these things can be tough. And <clears throat> sometimes when you force the schedule, especially in the beginning, that makes it very hard and awkward, and uh, when it shouldn't be. Um, if you've been married 15 years and that's not something you've always done, you're not always eating at the table at the same time because somebody got off early. You know, I get it. I get it. But I think the concept is to be intentional about spending some time together. And you may... It may. It doesn't have to be dinner. And, and it, it could be breakfast. And it may not be every day where you sit down like, um, you know, like um, the, the cleavers <laughs> and... Put out the spread and make the table. Nobody say anybody saying that. Um, so if you happen to be eating at the same time, choose to eat in the same room. Mm -hmm. Don't go to the den and and eat while you while you work on the last thing. Uh, you know what? Maybe go don't to your office. Maybe and don't eat. Things. Maybe don't eat in front of the TV. Uh, maybe maybe choose to you know the to, to eat to eat at the same place. And, and, and uh, a round glass kitchen table is a perfect thing. Um, that was one of my things that I told him I was going to be intentional about is not is to eat at least one of my meals a day at the dinner at the table. The dinner table. So it may be something that I mean again, and I'm always the person who goes, listen, if you think this too big and you go too big, the chances of you actually accomplishing it are much smaller. Go small. You may not Start do it. With baby steps. You may not do it every day, but you know what? Once a week. Try to do it once a week. Try to think about doing it once a week at least. Like that meme we saw yesterday, two days ago. Well, <clears throat> I drove by the gym today. <laughs> baby day step. one. Day one. I, I drove, drove by, by the gym. gym. <laughs> Hashtag baby steps. <laughs> so, you know, and I think that's how all these things and what you'll find is that once you once once that connection starts and once you you do it once twice three times, uh, it becomes easier to do, and then it becomes more fun to do and something that and then, a habit. and then it'll be something that you that you look forward to. Mm -hmm. And there'll be days where you won't be able to because you know what kids job stuff. I get it, um, but <clears throat> I think that may be something that you start looking forward to after a while. It's your calming place. It's your settling place. It's a place where you get centered in your relationship a little bit. 
And that way you know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I think knowing what's going on is super important. Work on your relationship this year. Do that. Um, another idea is to commit to doing something spontaneous together once a month. You can't plan spontaneity. <laughs> hey, let me help you. You can't plan to be spontaneous because that is the antithesis of the definition of spontaneity is planning. Um, what you can do, what you can offer to do is that you can, in your head, that, that you can commit to surprising your spouse um, more often. And again, activities are hard because of schedules, but if you sit down at the dinner table and talk about it, you get an idea what their schedule is. You can get a little inside and intelligence. Get your planner. Don't get a planner. <laughs> you, get a planner. You, just have, you just have to pay attention during the conversation. That's all. Look in the planner. Look at the calendars. The, the planner. Calendars. The planner can be a, 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 as big a distraction as a cell phone. Though. That's you true. Be very careful about that. It can. Just because it, it, it ain't technology doesn't mean it, 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 it isn't a distraction. Um, technology gets a bad rap nowadays for being the center of every bad thing when it is not. Um, <clears throat> but the idea is that now that you're having more conversations, you can maybe intend to surprise your spouse more often. Surprise, At surprise your spouse with, you know, take them out to dinner a movie, a walk in the park. That's something that we like to do. We like to just, all of a sudden, you know, if, if we were both at home or whatever, let's go to the park. Let's go to the park. And it, I love it. It's so nice because Tampa has such a good area. And you guys have seen different parks. In, our, in our YouTube videos that um, we've been in a couple, a, a couple of parks, a couple of free parks, and Tampa knocks it out of the park. Out of the park on park, they really they they do a really good job. Yes, it's not a perfect city, but there aren't any perfect cities. But we do a really good job. Parks and recreation. We do a really thumbs they, up. They do a really good job. Even the inner city, even the inner city parks mm -hmm. are nice. They do a good job. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, idea is, is, is to try to make sure. Yeah, you can't look at that clock. That clock needs a bad. I know. That clock says one a.m. <laughs> There's a clock by our door over there, and, and, and it needs a battery. Needs a battery, but the, what's, the weird thing is that it still moves. We just put a battery in, and it still moves though. It isn't like it stopped. <laughs> it's always like it's these ra late. these random times, or really early. Um, so, be intentional about surprising your spouse. And on the other side of that, and this is really important. Listen up, guys. Is that if you get surprised with something, an activity. Have, be willing to change your schedule or your intentions. Because I'm telling you, there's nothing more frustrating to come home with a, with a surprise and then, you know, two or three times in a row and then have your spouse go, well, I have to do this and then not be able to do it. That's, that's a, I'm going to tell you. Have a good attitude about it. Even if you don't, if you don't feel like doing what they have come up or with. Or if it's not in your plans because you have something else. Mm -hmm. Um because you have to understand what people are trying to do is they're trying to be spontaneous. And spontaneity is a problem for the super scheduled. They for say the they say they want spontaneity. But do they? So, again, if... Uh, like, <laughs> do they? Hint, hint. <laughs> so, again, spontaneity is great. Uh, but you can't plan it. You can't say, I want to be spontaneous on Friday at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's not spontaneity. No. So. It, <clears throat> spontaneity is you getting home early and you see, you know, you think, oh, he'll be home in 30 minutes. So let us let me get this together and do this here. We'll have a small meal and then we'll run to the park before dark. Except here now in Florida where it gets dark at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, bring back do that daylight, in the springtime. Bring that. Bring back daylight savings time, please. Thank you. Do that. Do that in the summer, but yeah. But that spontaneity. Yeah, that just kind of thing. At the on the sperm of the moment. Yeah. <laughs> on, the <spring. laughs> on the sperm of the moment. <laughs> just on the which on, it, well, the, which, on is, the which is which is which is a lot. How a lot of us got here in the first place, isn't it? <laughs> on the sperm, on the sperm of, of the moment. moment. Speaking of spontaneity. 
Uh, it's bad how most of us got here. Now, if you have kids in the room, this, this one right here. What? Is, yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be nasty. No, it's not nasty. It's it's, it's nine o'clock in the morning. Mike Douglas would be on. Make a weekly Mike Douglas on the ma- sex on, date. On, on the white man make me moist. Best line in that whole movie. <laughs> Mike Douglas. <laughs> that was the best line in that whole movie. Mike Douglas. On the white man make me moist. <laughs> Y'all remember that movie? I do. The Clumps. Oh, that was hysterical. That's a great line. <laughs> Focus. Oh, I am focused. Okay. Make a weekly sex date. Oh, sorry. I was focused. Uh, yeah, you know, again, again intimacy is, 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 is extremely important at every stage in relationship. Now, young folks, young young married people, in that, that sort of sexual intimacy it's is... It's like you got to make time now? What? <laughs> what? That's... That's when, when, the, when you were 20... That's when the sun comes up or the sun goes down, whether it's <laughs> light or dark, right? <laughs> A.M. or P.M. I got it right. Um, under, uh, under understood. Gotcha. Now, as again, as you mature, and as life becomes more complicated, um, <clears throat> because now you, now you have to have a planner, uh, now you have to have a scheduler, and you have that stuff. And uh, the sexual in- intimacy seems to sometimes take the back take a back seat. Um, some people people have health problems, situations, um, and sexual intimacy sort of takes a back seat. And I'm not going to say it's not everything is cracked up to be because it's because sex sex is everything is cracked up to be. Yes. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to tell you all. There's a reason up. that God gave us sex. Everything is cracked up to be. Um, sex isn't isn't something that's overhyped, uh, especially sexual um, sexual activity inside um, the confines of a godly marriage. Right. It's everything. You everything. Think everything and is more. cracked. Everything is cracked up to be. So, um, you know, don't 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 leave that part out this year. Don't leave that part out, and don't disqualify yourself because of anything. Please don't disqualify yourself by, by what you what you think you look like, what you uh, um, how you feel, uh, health, any, any of those things. Do not disqualify yourself. Just, just swoosh, do it. <laughs> and the last one <clears throat> is oh, you know schedule monthly. Money talks. You need to be because that's another reason that marriages fall apart because they're not communicating about money and what they want to do with the money and how we're going to spend the money. You know, um, I always joke with my husband and says, "Well, you know, my money is my money, your money is our money." But, but it's not a joke. <laughs> it's my reality. <laughs> <laughs> not, a jo- not, even, not even a joke. Every reality, reality is I do buy. I pay for things. And you pay for you pay for a lot of things. You pay so, for all the big. Okay. Actually, actually, Debbie, Debbie pays for all the big things. Really. So. And, and and what we've been able to do recently, and I'm I, I'm I'm grateful um, that I've been able to. And 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 we were we were blessed and fortunate in in the sense that it, it sort of morphed into was a, a, a sort of a system. Um, that we have, that we can get it all, that we can get it all taken care of, and and not be under pressure, and not have to worry about every single solitary envelope that comes to the door. Um, I have things that I take care of, and um, and now with the advent of my second job, that that's made that easier. That other stream of income has made that easier, um, because because I because those things I can take care of and. I don't have to. I don't. We don't have to sit down and go. How are we going to do this? Because this is up. I've got it. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mark. What's up? Good to see you. Good morning. Um, you know, because I got it. Um, but money, money issues are is a big problem in mar in marriage and relationships. Period. Be. It can be a big problem. So be upfront. Talk about what it is, what we have, and this, and who's going to pay this, and what we're going to do when this bill comes due, and how we're going to take care of that. Have money talks monthly so that it's not a crisis when something like the car breaks down or something something happens, and you and you're thinking, well, we may have we have this there, and you have gone and spent spent it on something else, and 
no communication. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's funny. It always goes back to that, doesn't it? Always goes back to that. Yeah, go ahead and and, and not avoid it. Uh, it's one of those things. It's, it, it's not comfortable. It's one of those things. And, and the last two subjects that, that Deb brought up, um, sex and money, are never comfortable conversations to have. Uh, because they mean... I, we, we internalize them and our and our self worth is all tied up and our ego is all tied up in it. Um, so that makes that makes it doubly tough to do. But go ahead and go ahead and do it. Um, and I, you know what? And once a month, I don't think you have to have this big powwow. I, I think what we've learned to do is that we've had we have this sort of ongoing conversation. Yeah. Deb's real good about emailing me using technology and saying, "Oh, I took care of this and this and this." Here's where we are, and I, and 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 that way it's sort of this ongoing conversation. So I know. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think that you know whatever system um, that you and your partner come up with, that you have a conversation about it, and I think ongoing conversations are better than one month powwows uh, because you may be able to make micro changes in your thing as you move through the month, but. At least be able to have the, to have the community lines of communication open when it talks about finances, especially household finances, are super important. All right, well, is that all of them? I see you changed the. Oh my god! All the stuff that you've written up. You only had this planner for like what day is this? It's only like the the sixth day of the year. Like a book. Good god, she had color codes. <laughs> It keeps me organized. It keeps me from being depressed. I would never, ever be able to keep up with all that. Um, My handwriting's not good enough. Start there off. is one more here. Uh, practice gra uh, gratitude daily. So that's that's what I do in my planner. I have a my planner is more like a journal as well, so I can write down and be grateful for things. You know, I'm grateful for my husband. I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful for our health. You know, keep keep it focused. Keep it focused. So you know, you know, because a lot of times we get depressed and down and we think, oh, I have nothing. I don't have this and I don't do blah, blah. And, and what's going on here and blah, blah, blah. And, oh, God, you don't love me. I'm going to do a video later on, on thankfulness. And I'm going to do that by myself so you guys will see that. Uh, because my approach to it is different than my wife's. That's all. Sorry. We have two different ways of doing it. I have approaches, and I have something to tell everybody about thankfulness, and this is not the video for that, but you're but right. Be, we do need, we need to talk about gratefulness. And be grateful. Thankful. If you can't do it daily, take, take a week, because I have a journal that's, that's a weekly journal that you can just go through and what the Fill week... Up. What what this week? What you're grateful for? Every day, every day we have to because we all have something to be grateful for. Mm -hmm. No matter no matter what you're doing, uh, no matter where you are, no matter what your struggle is, we all have something to be grateful for. I know that seems crazy, but it's the truth. I promise you, it's the truth. Um, and, and in this crazy world, the way you know people turn and do, it, it just almost daily. I'm like, wow. You know, you think you know people, you think you, you understand things, and then, mm. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, so, no. you got to be grateful for something. Yes, be grateful for your family. Be grateful for those around you. Be, be, be grateful for the things that are important. Now, the idea is we got to find out what's important. Uh, be grateful for your health. Be happy. I mean, no matter where you are. Um can't read that, Philip. The goal of the motto uh, over the break so that I could quit my day job and just play music. We failed. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Philip. Oh, Phil, because you know what? Because you know I'm your sax guy, right? <laughs> you know I'm your sax guy. Um, I'm on it, baby. I'm on it. Um, yeah. Don't forget your friends when you win that lotto. Win a lotto. Cause, <laughs> and all you have to do is like book gigs. You won't have to just book gigs. Let other people pay me. That would be the thing. Is that a gator 
Philip. Yeah, he is. Philip's a Gator. Philip went Philip. to <laughs> Philip went Philip went to Lakeland, so he's a um, he knows he knows he knows straight, straight up. Okay, we forgive. I know I know but love between Philip and I. Okay, well that's all I have. And so that's all I have. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, for goodness sakes, take care. Of, of yourself and Happy each other. Happy to be back into the new year. And you see our new decor? See, we got a D and a W. You see that? Seven will. Our son gave us that for, that for Christmas. And they light up. <laughs> and they light up. Go, yeah, go Gators. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's sitting home for National Championship Week. Anyway, um, until we see you again, go out there and learn something tonight. And uh, remember, we love you. And there ain't nothing. There's nothing you can do about it. Peace. We'll see you when we see. Bye. Love you.